C, D, E, F, G, H, what? Alphabet Inc., what is that? It's Google. G, O, G, L. And that is most likely on the NASDAQ. Technology sector, industry, internet services. And I got an alert today because I have alerts all over the place, especially on the monthly candle chart. When I get an alert, I know that something has happened and it gets my attention back to that chart. And I think it's kind of an art. And you really have to, when you trade, you really have to concentrate, concentrate a lot. Consecrate, consecrate, dedicate a lot of time because if you're too focused and you're just like, uh, let's say you're new at a sport and then you can be just focused, just like you'll be all tight, tight, you gotta get that perfect shot and then you don't say anything, you don't, um, you don't think about the wind, you don't think about uh, the sun clear when you're gonna shoot, a whole bunch of stuff's gonna happen. That's because you're just in survival mode when you're like, um, not super confident and you're just looking at stocks and uh, not looking at the weight of evidence, forgetting to look at the higher time frame, forgetting to look at the sector, the industry, etc. So that's why when the more and more you look, you get a feel and you get into a zone so you don't zoom in too much on a stock. And so you're able to have a wide vision and be able to see other movements at, in the markets as a whole, whether it be Forex moving, the bonds, uh, the markets, individual stocks, you're able to see a global picture. But to be able to see that, you can't be too focused inside a particular stock. And you also can't be too far out. So you have to be able to zoom in, check, do an assessment, put your alerts, and then let your alerts work for you. Then instead of checking candle after candle each day, when the alerts are triggered, you get back. So that leverages, that gives you more time to focus on uh, other aspects of the the markets, uh, uh, commodities, metals, whatever. The more you look at, the more charts you look at, the better you'll get a feel and the more you'll be in tune with prevailing themes. And that could really help you get a, get some, uh, get in advance before a solid move, before the news on TV tell you that a market's hot. It's almost too late when that happens. You have to be able to... Um, detect that ahead of time just by looking at the charts and seeing uh, patterns, say stage ones, consolidate, and then starting to break out. All right, I spun off right there. Alphabet. So right now I got an alert. Let me get my monthly measured move, top to bottom. 12 month three average is flat. And I don't know if it's, it's gonna probably, the more price action is below, and look at that crazy target, guys, all the way to 785, 86, 800. Previous resistance, previous uh, resistance turn support right here. You have another sideways move here. So you have a little bit more resistance, right? Support, resistance turn support right here. So whatever that target is, if we get a close below... 1015, 1016, monthly candle close below that, then the implied measure move would be right around this area right here. But the thing is, the price action now is below 12 month moving average. It's starting to flatten out, and that's not somewhere you want to be. Zoom in on the weekly. Okay, here's the monthly defined breakdown line. Oh, not in the green anymore. So we're not in the red. So we're underperforming the SPX. That is awesome. But the 30 week move and the price action is below 30 week average. That's great. But the 30 week average is still not declining. Maybe in one week or two, more price action there is going to be, is going to keep declining. And then we'll be in a stage four. Call whatever you want. Bear, bear cycle, stage four. You're going to be at it. What's the weight of evidence? Well, we want to close below the Ichimoku cloud. So right now we are. We want to close below that monthly defined breakdown line. We're not. You see, it's sunk in, but price action came back up. And you want to close below the weekly defined resistance. 
which is uh, coincides it's just a little bit lower but right here so any close so if we have a close right here i don't know if we're going to get it this week it's a um, coincide with the monthly candle close october the i think a tuesday wednesday two days left weekly close uh, you could wait for the end of the week if you really want to but if you have the monthly candle close in your favor that's very powerful crescendo volume on those red candles going down guys this is a i would have loved to see a left head that's a scenario where it breaks down right now. What I, I rather, I love it when I have tests like this, multiple tests, and then a breakdown. So maybe we could have another month and then maybe go back up, test that 12 month moving average going back downwards and never overcoming those highs. So lower highs. And then after that, down all the way to a monthly defined target, maybe then a bounce back, etc. Lower lows, lower highs, lower lows. That would be the completion of that stage four of that uh, down trend. That's how I see it playing out right now. But look, this is just possible situation. Everything's uh, sectors are turning more and more. Um, stage three, stage four. Most of them, uh, world market stage four. Everything seems to be stage four. So the pressure. The most likely scenario is that this rolls over into stage four. Can it just bounce off and then uh, go up instead? Sure. Instead of going down here, it goes up and it can even continue, even challenging those previous highs, consolidation and explode right there. I don't know the future. Nobody knows. But uh, if I rely on the weight of evidence and on the uh, quantity of uh, clues, uh, cookie crumbs all over the place, then I believe pullbacks will be pullbacks that will be sold into. They will be on contracting volume. And then after that, the selling pressure would come in and break and push it down. But here's the last line of report. Don't jump the gun. Close below 1,009. Maybe a round number. Maybe a round number is going to play here in the, in the psyche of the people. Close below 1,000. But either case, a few days to wait, guys, to see if there's total meltdown or... That wick, see when you see that wick here at the bottom, that is sellers coming in saying, eh, you went down too low, bring you back up. Look at it here, and we might get a pullback a little higher here. That's it for Google, guys, man. The, one of the last uh, remaining stocks that's uh, super duper duper, but right now, less so. All right. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for listening.